Hello. Welcome to Today in History, an AI podcast. I'm Steven. And I'm Ruth. We're the artificial intelligence hosts of this show. Every day, we'll tell you about the most interesting, consequential and sometimes forgotten facts in history that happened on this date. Politics, economy, war, religion, culture. One topic every day. Plus something that you would have heard on the news back then on this date. Also, about a holiday somewhere in the world, someone who was born and someone who died. Hope you stay with us. Please enjoy a few minutes to maybe get a little smarter and appreciate the enormity of every single day. Today is Tuesday, March 19, 2024. The year is 1911. Our main topic, established by Clara Zetkin, Kate Dunker, and others, International Women's Day was first observed. On March 8, 1911, something incredible happened. A group of fierce women, led by Clara Zetkin and Kate Dunker, came together to create a holiday that would change the course of history. International Women's Day was born, and with it, a movement that would shake the foundations of society and pave the way for gender equality. At the time, women were fighting for their rights, from the right to vote to the right to work. They were tired of being treated as second-class citizens, and they knew that something had to change. Zetkin and Dunker, both prominent figures in the socialist movement, saw the power of unity and decided to create a day where women could come together and demand their rights. The first International Women's Day was celebrated in Austria, Denmark, and Germany, with rallies and protests calling for women's rights. It was a small but powerful start, and it quickly gained momentum. In the following years, more and more countries joined in, and the holiday became a global phenomenon. Today, International Women's Day is celebrated in over 100 countries, with events ranging from marches and rallies to conferences and networking events. It's a day to celebrate the achievements of women, but also a day to recognize the work that still needs to be done. It's a day to come together and demand equality, justice, and respect for all women. The historical significance of International Women's Day cannot be overstated. It marked a turning point in the fight for women's rights, and it paved the way for future generations of women to demand their place in society. It showed that women could come together and achieve great things, and it inspired countless women to take action and make their voices heard. In a world where women still face many challenges, International Women's Day is more important than ever. It's a reminder that we still have work to do, but it's also a celebration of the progress we've made. So let's take a moment to appreciate the bravery and determination of Clara Zetkin, Kate Dunker, and all the women who fought for our rights. And let's continue to fight for a world where all women are treated with the dignity and respect they deserve. The year is 1885. On the news, Louis Riel declares a provisional government in Saskatchewan, beginning the Northwest Rebellion. In a move that would change the course of Canadian history, Louis Riel, a prominent Métis leader, declared a provisional government in Saskatchewan on this day in 1885. This declaration marked the beginning of the Northwest Rebellion, a resistance movement against the Canadian government led by Riel and his followers. The rebellion was fueled by concerns among the Métis people that their rights and way of life were under threat from the expanding Canadian state. The event would ultimately lead to Riel's execution and have far-reaching consequences for the relationship between the Canadian government and Indigenous peoples. Context, the Northwest Rebellion took place in the district of Saskatchewan, a region in western Canada that was home to a diverse population of Indigenous peoples, including the Métis, Cree, and Assiniboine. The Métis, who were descendants of French and indigenous ancestors, had a unique culture and way of life that was threatened by the encroachment of European settlers and the expansion of the Canadian state. Riel, who had previously played a key role in the establishment of the province of Manitoba, emerged as a leader among the Métis and sought to defend their rights and interests. Historical significance, the Northwest Rebellion was a pivotal moment in Canadian history, highlighting the tensions between the Canadian government and indigenous peoples. The rebellion ultimately failed, and Riel was executed for treason, but it brought attention to the struggles of the Métis and other indigenous peoples and paved the way for future negotiations and agreements between the Canadian government and indigenous leaders. Today, the legacy of the Northwest Rebellion continues to be felt, as Canadians grapple with the ongoing impacts of colonization and work towards reconciliation and justice for indigenous peoples. 
Our selected holiday for today, Christian observances, St. Joseph, Western Christianity. If this date falls on Sunday, the feast is moved to Monday, March 20th, St. Joseph's Day, Roman Catholicism and Anglican Communion, Related Observances, Return of the Swallow, Annual Observance of the Swallows Return to Mission San Juan Capistrano in California. On March 19th, California celebrates the annual Return of the Swallow holiday, a cultural and religious observance that marks the return of the cliff swallow to Mission San Juan Capistrano. This day also coincides with St. Joseph's Day, a significant event in Western Christianity and the Roman Catholic Church. The Return of the Swallow holiday has been a long-standing tradition in California, dating back to the 18th century when Spanish missionaries first observed the swallow's annual migration to the Mission San Juan Capistrano. The swallows were seen as a symbol of hope, renewal, and rebirth, and their return was believed to signal the beginning of spring and new life. Today, the holiday is celebrated with great enthusiasm and joy. People gather at Mission San Juan Capistrano to witness the swallows' return, which is believed to bring good luck and prosperity. The event is also marked by various festivities, including traditional music, dance, and food. The cultural significance of the return of the Swallow holiday lies in its ability to bring people together and promote a sense of community and shared heritage. It is a celebration of nature, tradition, and faith, and it provides an opportunity for people to connect with their history and cultural identity. Moreover, the holiday highlights the importance of preserving and respecting the natural world. The cliff swallow is a protected species, and the Mission San Juan Capistrano is a designated wildlife sanctuary. The holiday serves as a reminder of the need to protect and preserve the environment for future generations. In conclusion, the return of the Swallow holiday is a unique and meaningful celebration that holds great cultural and religious significance for the people of California. It is a time for celebration, reflection, and renewal, and it serves as a reminder of the importance of preserving our natural world and cultural heritage. On this day, in 1987, A.J. Lee, American wrestler and author, was born. A.J. Lee, a name that resonates with passion, determination, and strength. Born April Jeanette Mendez, this American author, screenwriter, and retired professional wrestler has left an indelible mark on the world of sports and entertainment. A.J.'s journey to greatness began in the world of professional wrestling. With a fiery spirit and unrelenting drive, she burst onto the scene, captivating audiences with her electrifying presence and unparalleled athleticism. Her time in WWE, under the ring name AJ Lee, was nothing short of remarkable. She won numerous championships, including the WWE Divas Championship, and was hailed as one of the greatest female wrestlers of all time. But AJ's success extends far beyond the ring. She is also a talented author, with her debut novel, Crazy is My Superpower, becoming a New York Times bestseller. Her writing is a testament to her creativity, intelligence, and passion for storytelling. AJ's impact on popular culture is undeniable. She has been a trailblazer for women in sports and entertainment, breaking down barriers and paving the way for future generations. Her dedication to mental health awareness and advocacy has also inspired countless individuals to speak openly about their struggles and seek help. AJ's accolades are numerous, but her true legacy lies in the lives she has touched and inspired. She is a shining example of what can be achieved through hard work, perseverance, and a refusal to accept anything less than greatness. As a role model, she has inspired countless young people to pursue their dreams and never give up on their passions. In conclusion, A.J. Lee is a true icon, a beacon of hope and inspiration for anyone who has ever dared to dream big. Her impact on the world will be felt for years to come, and her legacy will continue to inspire and motivate generations to come. We remember the life of Dmitro Doroshenko, Ukrainian historian and politician, Prime Minister of Ukraine, born 1882, who died on this date in 1951. Dmitro Doroshenko was a prominent Ukrainian politician and historian who played a significant role in the country's history during the early 20th century. Born in 1882, Doroshenko was a member of the Ukrainian Party of Socialist Federalists and supported federal ties with the Russian Republic. He served as the Prime Minister of Ukraine in 1918, during a time of great turmoil and political upheaval in the country. Despite his political affiliations, Doroshenko was known for his commitment to Ukrainian independence and his efforts to promote the country's cultural and economic development. 
As prime minister, he implemented policies aimed at strengthening Ukraine's agricultural sector and improving the lives of working-class citizens. Doroshenko was also a renowned historian and writer, who authored numerous works on Ukrainian history and culture. His most famous book, The History of Ukraine, remains a classic in Ukrainian historiography and is still widely read and studied today. Throughout his life, Doroshenko faced many challenges and setbacks, including exile and imprisonment. However, he remained dedicated to his beliefs and continued to work towards the betterment of Ukraine until his death in 1952. Today, Doroshenko is remembered as a pioneering figure in Ukrainian politics and history. His contributions to the country's development and his commitment to promoting Ukrainian culture and independence continue to inspire generations of Ukrainians. Despite the passage of time, his legacy remains an important part of Ukraine's rich history and heritage. This was Today in History, an AI podcast. Brought to you by Decor Studios. All content was sourced from Wikipedia and processed with open source large language models. This podcast is released under Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike 4.0 International License. Thank you so much for listening. Talk to you tomorrow.